What's up, fellow uh, Actarians? I know it sounds weird, but uh, I got the Sambarian thing going, so we'll just stick with Actarian, I think. <laughs> if you don't like it, um, I'm very sorry. I apologize for the devastating voice vibrations I'm causing in your eardrums. I'm here with uh, Gimli, the fire uh, Honda Acti fire van. And we are going to be doing, <clears throat> I'm actually going to be restoring these headlights because you can see they're a little bit, uh, a little faded, bro. They're a little faded. Um, so I got the 3M um, headlight restoration quick kit. This is not the very intense um, restoration kit. It only has, I think the 3000 grit. Yeah, so there's another kit. I can't seem to find it on Amazon anymore. It's really bizarre. It, they're not selling it. I don't know if they're, if 3M is not producing it anymore. But the one kit that I used to buy for like $9 came with 3000 grit, uh, 1500 grit or something with a little pad and obviously the clear, clear coat. This only comes with the, um, the sanding paper and the clear coat so kind of a bummer can't find that other kit it's not on amazon anymore unless whoever was selling it does uh needs to restock them but that's the kit i'm going to be using on this guy and we're going to be upgrading to leds um i know some people don't know but LEDs uh, are a lot brighter than your halogens and draw way less power off of your um, alternator. You're gonna get a lot less alternator drag. As far as running LEDs in your other bulbs, uh, you wanna make sure that it's not your turn signals because you'll get that tweaker blinker or um, that error where it blinks really fast, the, the fast blink. You'll get that if you don't run a uh, uh, some kind of relay or uh, resistor or something. I don't know. I've never, I've never done that yet. Um, mess with uh, LEDs in the blinkers, um, so I couldn't tell you how to do it. But we're going to be doing LEDs in the headlights. So the LED, the headlights. So obviously you can tell that these headlights are the older version on the Honda Actis, and the newer, newer versions have like the uh, side markers and the blinker underneath the headlight. These just have the headlights and the side markers. So they're a little bit different. So if you don't have these style headlights, this probably isn't gonna help you out, but they're probably the same bulbs, which are uh, H4s. So we're gonna be putting H4s in there. Um, I got these fancy ones off of Amazon. They got this little, uh, this little uh, power bank here or something. It's like a little amplifier. Um, and then you got your your LED with the cooling fan and it plugs into your H4 connection. So that is what we're gonna be installing on this guy. Um, I'm going to end up uh, taking the headlights off and restoring them after, but I would just show how to put the bulbs in in case you wanna upgrade uh, your Acti to LEDs. So what you're going to need is like a trim tool, plastic trim tool, because you're going to need to pop this trim ring off and you want to be very careful and not scratch anything. And you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the side marker. So let's uh, remove the two Phillips head screws. And I'm only gonna do one side because it's the same reverse. Uh, these are not like the sandbars. The sandbar you can get the headlights from inside the cab. Uh, these have to be accessed from outside. They did not make Honda Actis to be very uh, DIY friendly. Uh, still learning the, the Honda Acti tricks. Okay, so you're gonna need to go around I'm just going to kind of slide it on the light and let it pop everything out. And then you're going to get over to here and there's two little prongs. And let's see. There we go. 
though. There's one. Be very careful, because I'm sure these are brittle. Super brittle. Okay, and then, don't yank it. Don't yank it out quite yet. Uh, you're gonna need to undo the side marker. So I'm sure you can probably just twist it. Yeah. Twist it and take it out. So right here, there's these two little holes that these two little prongs on this side go in. So that's, you gotta pull that off. And then the rest have these little plastic clips and your side marker here, just twist the bulb out right there so that looks okay and now we're going to be removing the headlight the headlight so you can use a phillips head i may need to get yeah i'm gonna have to get a 10 mil those things are super bad rusty okay Got a 10 mil, and there's gonna be three, uh, three of these 10 mils you need to remove. Mucho, mucho rusty. Okay, wow, well, it's stuck in my socket. Okay, so now we can remove this, which is going to be attached to our bulb, our bulbous Maximus. So it's got a little rubber. We're gonna unplug it first and then we'll take the uh come on baby. There we go. So you'll unplug it, it's got the three prongs for an H4, and you'll remove the little rubber gasket. And that will come off of That'll come off of the bulb and that's what seals moisture from getting in there. So when you put this back on, uh, you can see it slips right over the three prongs again. And you wanna make sure that you get a good seal around the lip. And as far as taking the bulb out, it's got this. I mean, it's all very standard, but you push that in, undoes the little flap here, and then your bulb will come straight out. So now that I got the headlight out, I'm going to do the 3M restoration kit and then I'll put the headlights in and then we'll put it all back together. Um, I won't show you how to do the restoration because um, that's not too, too difficult. So yeah, I'm gonna restore these headlights and then we'll put it all back together. What's up guys, um, back again with the headlights on the Honda Aki. And some cinnamon toast crunch. Mm. So, like I was saying, <clears throat> I think I said, I restored my headlights and I tinted one. And I'm in a I'm in a, a level nine uh, tornado right now, so don't mind me slapping the rounds of the tent sides. Man, that's so annoying. I need a shot. <laughs> um, so I tinted one yellow, and I restored one and left it clear. I've seen it done in Japan, so <laughs> maybe it was on accident that they did it or one headlight got broken, I don't know. So I'm gonna do one yellow and one white, or one clear. So I restored, tinted this one. I used um, I used Vivid um, light tint, Vivid uh, vinyl, their headlight tint. And also, I got, the correct LEDs.
If you're gonna do LED upgrades on your Honda Acti, you need to get the bulbs that look like this. Uh, the ones with the fans, the fancy looking ones with the fans that come out the back and they have the plug. Uh, they don't really fit. Um, you have to run a seal behind the light. You could put them on there without the seal and be fine, but uh, I, I'm afraid that it's gonna build up condensation in the headlight. So I wanna be able to put that seal back on. So I got the ones that are very similar to the ones we pulled out, just LED. So the little cooling fan is up in the front. That actually goes inside the headlight assembly. So we're gonna put these guys on. I got them off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below, H4s. So we're gonna put them all back together and get them back up on the Honda Acti. Okay. So you just slip them in there. They only go in one one way. So like fit in a square square peg in a round hole. Find find the way that fits. And then you're gonna take your little clip behind it. And push it down. I think the LEDs are a little thicker. There we go. Okay, so once you have them snapped in there, then you're gonna take your seal and you got the three holes. So those are gonna go, that thing goes around the light, kinda twist it around because you want it to get a good seal on the bulb. And then we're gonna slip it all the way around the light again. Here we go. So this should all be snug, snug on there. Sorry, I keep cutting the head out. I gotta keep leaning down. Oh, I messed one up. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna connect it back up onto the van. So I did move the posts around, these little adjusters. I'm gonna put it back to where I think it was before. I'm not entirely sure how those work because it's not like they're threaded or anything. It's really weird. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, plug the headlight back in. Just make sure that when you put it back on there, there's a little little valley that the, the side marker wire goes through, or tunnel, whatever. Make sure it goes back through that. Okay, 10 mil. Gonna put the uh, little bolts back in. Okay. Now for the side markers and the light trim. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick. Uh, since you already know how one side gets done. And time Okay. All uh, put back together, restored, LEDs. Let's turn them on and see uh, how they look.
and hopefully we connected them all correctly or at least they're still working <laughs> well let's see Did something right um but there you go that's how you do your headlights pull them out change bulbs upgrade to leds um h4s again and they got to be the one that does not have the cooling fan on the back um it won't fit at least i don't think it'll fit unless you don't run that plastic i mean that rubber boot cover but then you'll uh allow condensation to or water to get inside moisture or whatever but yeah, I uh, got more stuff to come. I'll do that another time. But there you go. That's how you do lights. But cool. There you go. Take it easy, guys. Catch you on the next one.